Welcome back. We're now beginning uh, the multiplication uh, concept. So let's start with dig one digit times one digit. This is actually the multiplication table that you were supposed to keep in memory. All right. So um, you're supposed to remember up to 12 times table. For my case, you really don't need to uh, memorize up to 12. I would actually recommend you memorize uh, up to 9 times table, up to actually 9 times 9. Okay, so because we'll be doing papers and pen multiplication, really you only need up to uh, 9 times table. Okay, for example, here you can see uh, times table, actually I, I, I wrote up to 10, alright, times 10. So, you know, 1 times 1 is going to be 1, 1 times 2 is 2, and so on. That's an easy one, right? 2 times 2, 2 times 1, 2 times 3, those ones are also easy. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and so on, okay? You should remember by sequence, right? You remember 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, so on. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and then if you remember by sequence, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. All right. So these have to be kept in, in, in uh, memory. There's different strategy of to do that. Um, uh, one way is a uh, student creating uh, cue cards like this one. Okay. And basically, you know, w first of all, you write the times table like up to nine, and you try to commit, commit that into memory. Then the next step is to write a cue cards like this one, and then quiz yourself. Put the answer at the back, and then you know, if you have siblings. Or friends, you might want to, you know, try to see who can do faster and all that, right? As a game, hopefully not too much competition there, but just as a game and uh, see how fast you can do it and keep that in memory. Now, not everyone can remember times table. For some reason, I don't understand. Uh, it could be that, uh, you know, maybe it's a lot of numbers to remember. And it's harder to remember numbers than, say, uh, you know, uh, when was your next uh, appointment at school. I don't know. But whatever it may be, the reason is there's different technique to memorize uh, or to do ma uh, times table. Alright, one technique, uh, hopefully this is just temporary, but if you find this helpful, uh, you can use it. But um, I'll give you an example. You can use your finger, alright, to do this. Okay, let's start with the five finger because this is the one that we are familiar uh, that I have, I can only put five here. One, two, three, four, five fingers, right? Now, why? And you can use up to ten finger, obviously. Um, so if you memorize a time table based on sequence, like for example, uh, you know, like three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. 730. For some reason, I think most people remember numbers in sequence much better than, I say, um, you know, one times one, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, right? It's just more tedious. Another for example, like four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty. Right? Now, if you remember those kind of sequence, you can use your finger to. Uh, multiply. For example, let's say if the teacher gave you uh, 4 times 4, what is that? Well, if you remember the sequence, like, you know, memorized by sequence, two, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. You see that? So this represents the fourth finger, 16. Okay? Let's assume now that you memorize the um, 6 times table, right? And then and you know 6 is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, right? But for five fingers. So let's say the teacher say, okay, what is uh, 6 times 4? Well, if you remember the sequence, it's 6, 12, 18, 24 on your fourth fingers. All right, again, like I said, you have 10 fingers, you can use that. But I hope it's just temporary. Eventually, you will try to memorize timetable using cue cards and you should remember fast enough as if you can as fast as snapping your finger alright but anyway here's a strategy for you use your fingers and memorize the sequence of times table and that's how you would go about uh, um, figuring a multiplication ok 
Okay, now let's move on to two digits times one digit. Let's say you have 18 times 2, all right? 8 times 2 is 16, all right? You carry the 1 over to the 10th column. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, here's the thing with, if you have, this is the first time you're multiplying two digits to one digit. 1 times 2 is 2, then you have to add that 1. That expel was carry over, okay? So that's 3, isn't it? So the answer is 36. Okay, let's try another one. 27 times 4. Okay, uh, 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, carry the 2 on the 10th column. And 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2. Remember, it's plus 2. So 8 plus 2 is 1008. Okay, see how easy that is? Let's try another one. Let's say 30. Uh, 8 times 8. Now, remember I told you to memorize up to 9 times table? See, when you you think about it, these numbers never goes beyond 9. I mean, it goes back to 0, but you know that 0 times anything is always 0, correct? Okay, so anyway, 8 times 8 is 64. Here is the 6 over to that side, the 10th column. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 6 is 30, 304. Let's try another one. 57 times um, 9, okay? 7 times 9 is 63. Carry this 6 over the other side. It's the 10th column. Four, 5 times 9 is 45 plus 6 is 51, 513. Okay, I hope that's easy for you guys. Um, again, if you having problem with multiplying, make sure you memorize the times table, neither using uh, you know cue cards or use your finger memorizing the sequence. Okay, of uh, uh, multiplication table. Okay, now let's move on to three digits times one digit. Let's say you have uh, 583 times four. All right, so it's three times four is 12. Carry the one over. Eight times four is 32 plus one is 33. Carry the three over to the side. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23, so 2,332. Let's look at another one. Let's say 609 times 5, okay? 9 times 5 is 45, carry with a 4 here. 0 times 5 is 0, plus the 4 is 4. 6 times 5 is 30, so 3,045, all right? Let's try another one. Let's say it was 600 and 90 times uh, 3, okay? The 0 times 3 is 0. 9 times 3 is 27. Carry the 2 over to this side, the 100th column. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. 2,070, right? Try another one. 811 times 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 8 times 7 is 56, 5,677.